Would you rather? That is the day old question. The question where you will get to judge me on my decision. It could be cringe. It could be awesome. Probably going to be terrible. And either way, you get to judge me for whatever I get to say. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Million dollar question, chat. Would you rather eat a zombie or get eaten by a zombie? Now, I would like to say that uh, being a halfling, what kind of zombie are we talking about? Are we talking about like a halfling zombie are we talking about a human zombie this matters right because if a human were to eat a human zombie then it would be cannibalism and i could see that being a little bit weird obviously no one wants to get eaten by a zombie it's just whether or not you want to face the stigma of you being a cannibal the sake of this purpose is let's just assume that it's a halfling so it would also be a cannibal am i gonna turn into a zombie anyways by eating the zombie if the answer is no no, then I think I'd rather eat a zombie. I'm okay with the stigma of, uh, you know, people thinking I'm a halfling cannibal. It wouldn't be the first time that I've eaten another humanoid. I'm gonna say, eat a zombie. 23% of people are just betas. Would you rather a spouse with trees' arms or a spouse with alligator arms? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first one, I mean, let's just say, uh, at least I would know that they have some hard wood. The second one, I mean, how big are alligator arms? And is it just their arms? Do they still have their hands or do they also have the hands of the alligator? I feel like this is an important question. Uh, truth be told, I need to Google now. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're way bigger. How old of an alligator are we talking? I think that makes a difference. If it's like a baby alligator, right, like they're little baby alligator hands, I would definitely take that. I mean, because everything's just going to look bigger. But otherwise, I mean, I have to worry about splinters this way. Uh, it's kind of a hard choice. Do I want splinters or... Eh, let's go with alligator arms. I'm hoping that they're baby alligators. Would you rather have no hands I have a naked fat guy stalking you all the time. What if I already have a naked fat guy stalking me all the time? What is that? What does that kind of go in there? To be honest, if the naked fat guy was stalking me all the time, I could just, uh, you know, shape shift and take care of him. And by take care of him, I mean eat him. I'm gonna say that. I feel like, you know, you know why you wouldn't want hands. Would you rather be known as a racist or known as a sexist? Oh, God. I feel like, you know, I'm a halfling and I kind of hate humans. Doesn't that kind of make me a racist already? I oh, know that's species. I'm species. Why is it species just uh, uh, a thing? I guess it's technically a species. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't like this question. Uh, I'm not, I would just like to point this out that I am neither of these. But if I had to be one, I think I'd rather be sexist. Unless you're counting racist as in like I hate humans because I'm a halfling, then I would pick this because, I, I, to be honest, human beings are one of the worst creatures on the fucking planet. It is insane how awful human beings are. Would you rather erase Canada off the map or erase New Jersey off the map? How is this even a fucking choice? Canadians are amazing. No one talks about New Jersey. New, New Jersey? Fucking easy. Would you rather not brush your teeth for a month and not shower for a month? Fucking easy. Not brush my teeth. Do you think we had two brushes where I was from? That was definitely not something that we utilized that often. Ah, would you rather have anything you write become truth or know all the truths that are now? Oh, fucking easy. Why would I want this? You could accidentally write something. It would turn out awful. This is like the monkey paw type of I'm gonna get fucked. Whereas now you can know all the truths to the world. Fucking easy. 68% well, of people are fucking stupid and power hungry. These are all the type of people that you never want running a company. Would you rather be an orc or a night elf? Ooh, as a halfling, this is a hard choice. I'd rather be an elf just because elves live longer than orcs to be honest like i already have a pretty long lifespan and i would i want to see how the world like adapts and changes i don't think anyone ever thinks to themselves oh you know what i want to be i want to be a fucking orc i feel like that's not really like a fucking debate would you rather see how or what created civilization or see how or what ends civilization i'd rather see what created it i feel like this would give me a lot of answers on like things that matter and if you know that there is nothing like god or anything like that I feel like that's going to influence your decisions. Whereas when the world ends, the likelihood of it ending within my lifespan is probably not that significant, you know? People are worried about dying in here. I'm not. Would you rather be born with red hair or have $100 stolen from you? How is this even a question? I'd rather have $100 stolen from me. Who wants red hair? You see my gorgeous white hair? Why would I ever want to give this away? I'm just kidding. I actually think redheads are extremely attractive. Though I will say, I don't particularly find male redheads that attractive. Like there are some cases, but I feel like a lot of the male redheads I've met are just 
not that attractive. But I'm also not attracted to men, so that might be why. If you could only do one of these in your lifetime, would you rather find true love or cure cancer? True love is a figment of your imagination. Like, clicking on this is something that is intangible and not real, and some fucking fairy tale that, like, Disney sold you. But if you're going for this one, uh, you were bought into the Disney, uh, Disney fantasy. Let me tell you, you're cancer. Not even a fucking decision. Would you rather be able to travel at light speed or be able to read minds read mind traveling at light speed would be cool and you could do a lot of cool things right um and arguably you might be able to time travel but i mean being able to read minds is just way more useful hey you lovely bastards if you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to check out my stream monday wednesday friday 12 p.m cst